What's up guys? All right, I promise a short video this time because our last few videos have been extremely long, uh, lots of information in them, and when we put together those testing sessions, it's a lot of work. I mean, it's days, weekends, nights, it's, uh, it's a lot of work. So uh, forgive us if we go a little long sometimes. This one's a short one. So I've got some acceleration tests to run. Sprockets and chains. This is the 54 tooth Luna sprocket, it's made out of steel. The steel 48 tooth that comes on the Suron. So these things are so heavy. I'm gonna put them on a scale in just a second. So let me show you what we got going on over here. <clears throat> All right, obviously this is our 1821. And on here is our prototype sprocket. Yes, we are gonna make our own sprockets. This is a 60 tooth. It's uh, 7075 aluminum, so super lightweight, super strong. On Nate's bike, we got over here. Same thing, it's our prototype sprocket. This is a 54 tooth. So in the previous acceleration test on the 1619, we had the OEM 48 tooth. We did not put a bigger sprocket on. So first up, Let's put an OEM sprocket on there. One pound, one ounce. See what this Luna 54 tooth steely weighs. One pound, six ounces. So the extra teeth adds five ounces. This is a warped nine. Warped nine. 60 tooth sprocket a little bit unfair the sprocket is actually larger than both of those but wait till you see the weight of this thing so this is impressive so these are all 7075 aluminum both warp 9 and ours it weighs 10 ounces that's crazy so these sprockets basically weigh almost nothing so that's one speed advantage you're losing let's pretend that a 60 tooth probably weighs one pound 10 ounces or, or somewhere close to that you're losing an entire pound off your rear wheel which is rotating mass which is amazing so that's a free pound you've lost off the wheel just by putting an aluminum sprocket on there huge upgrade i just split a brand new chain so this is a brand new nano ring chain 60 tooth sprocket so that means we cut it to 114 teeth the 54 tooth sprocket is awesome because you don't have to cut your chain you can buy one of our primary drive trains in a 110 this fits the 54 tooth sprocket without any cutting so you don't need this tool down here uh, to break your chain nano ring chain why i'll show you a demonstration uh, what makes o-ring chains so amazing um pros it's a, a little bit lighter because you have you lose all the o-rings you lose about two millimeters of width so that's less uh steel that's being used so it is a lighter weight chain uh, but the bigger difference is because there's no o-rings in between here there's a lot less friction um, less friction means more speed more range now the bad thing about an on-o-ring chain You've got to keep it clean, you've got to keep it lubed. If you don't, it's gonna destroy itself. The dirt will get in between and inside of here and it will wear itself out. This chain will not last as long as an O-ring chain. That's why we sell these kits. We've got chain lube, we've got a cleaner. Um, this is a good penetrant that helps uh, displace when you wash your bike, all the water and stuff that gets in the chain. Um, the two most important things are the cleanup and the chain guard. You've got to have these uh, to take care of your chain. Okay, I've got a couple of ring chains sitting here. There's a brand new one. It actually came off Nate's bike. Never even used. Notice how when I move it around, it doesn't move uniformly. See how I put my finger here and it's like really slowly bending and it's just not consistent. Like, look, there's a 90 degree angle there. 
So as I move my hand across the chain, it's just very sticky and doesn't want to move around very well. So multiply that by all the many RPMs that you're spinning and all of these little O-rings in there are adding that extra little bit of friction. It's, it's robbing power from your bike and it's robbing range. So let me show you what a non-O-ring chain looks like. Here's a non-O-ring chain. This is a primary drive. Um, look at how perfectly this thing bends. It's, it just has no friction in it. So same thing I did with the other one as I move my across the links. It just bends perfectly. Non-O-ring chain, more power, more range. Um, but the bad thing is you've got to take care of these chains. If you don't clean them, if you don't lube them, they will basically destroy themselves with the dirt and the water that gets into the links. So if you want ultimate performance, upgrade your chain to a non-O-ring and let's go do some acceleration tests. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a big difference that surprised me I need to sit farther forward okay so last time the best time was from the OEM tires that was just a hair under seven seconds this just did it in 6.99 okay run two I'm gonna get farther forward on the bike because that really surprised me the how it wheelied off the line that didn't happen last time Farther forward, wait forward, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Very consistent. So that was a 6.97. The first run was 6.99. Max speed 32.4. The Aluminum 62 sprocket and nano ring chain have woken this bike up. This is exactly what this bike needed. Just to show that one more time, nano ring chain, aluminum sprocket, and this thing is a rocket ship now. A uh, huge, huge difference. I'm really impressed. Seat of the pants, including uh, just riding this bike around in the yard, uh, it feels like it's back to being responsive and fast, and it's it's awesome. We'll talk more about this uh, in another video. But I'm also very impressed with this Marzucci bomber and some stuff we did here with the linkage. Pretty cool stuff. You'll probably tell from the hand guards, this is Nate's bike. Three, two, one, go. So slightly faster than the 1821. Alright, run number one was a 692. Let's see what run number two gives us. Three, two, one, go. A little wheelie up. Six, eight, three. Wow, that was um We've never gotten, we've gotten into the 6.9s before, never into the 6.8s, so that's a record.